Well, I saw this video uh, by Karen Armstrong called Is Science Based on Faith? And um, after having seen it, I thought, well, I should um, react to this, uh, particularly because she, she criticizes um, some scientists which I um, admire a lot, um, Richard Dawkins in particular, Sam Harris, Christopher Hipkins. Uh, she claims they are um, fundamental uh, fundamentalists uh, uh, that they have just so much faith as as, as religious people ha have, and um, she actually compares them to to Protestant uh, fundamentalists. Well, my comment to to uh, that is I, I uh, respect Karen Armstrong a lot. I've uh, read most of her books. I think she is uh, brilliant. Um, um, but I, I um, well, you can say Richard Dawkins. He is fundamental in his, definitely in his search for the truth. He, he, as he says himself, you know, I don't care about all the good things religion has done in the world. What I'm interested in is the truth. And you know, I couldn't, I couldn't agree more uh, myself. Um, she, she says they, they, they. Uh, they take the, the, the Bible uh, literate, they are just as uh, much committed to their faith. And I think there's a very big difference uh, between um, the so-called new atheists and, and religious people. And the difference is um, Richard Dawkins, he would change his ideas or his views anytime, provided you bring evidence for what you're saying. And religious, religion is different. It says, this is the truth here in my book. Um, this is truth. It, it cannot be changed. It's, uh, it's eternal. It's, it's absolute. And I think that's a very uh, big um, uh, difference. Um, I, and, and Richard Dawkins, he explains that religion is, is, where does it come from in a biological sense? It's, it's useful for our genes to make the genes uh, procreate. Um, uh, it, it, it gives uh, people an explanatory model for the world. It, it can give them a meaning of life. Um, it, uh, but I, I think nowadays we, we must realize that, that science is so much superior in, in providing an, an explanation of, of how the world is composed. Um, of course, there are questions that science cannot explain, like like why are there physical laws, or where do they come from, or, or why do the why does the universe exist? And, and you can say religion tries to explain these why questions. Uh, to me, the, the, these answers are not very plausible. Are not they don't help me. Um, um, also, um, Richard Dawkins he shows how um, how um, you know religion is is good for society when it can impose moral values. You know, uh, if you if you do this, if you steal or lie, then uh, you know God will punish you. And um, you know, my answer to that, I I think that's very poor. If if the only reason you 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 refrain from doing bad deeds is because you're afraid of of God punishing you, I, I think that's very sad. When I, when I sometimes, when I do good things to, to other people, when I'm uh, altruistic, it's simply because it makes me feel better. That's the way I'm biologically programmed, and, and that's fine with me. And and um, and the question is, um, uh, the meaning of life, and, and and of course science does not answer that. Uh, question, but uh, my comment is well. I I find the, the the question, what is the meaning of life, is is to me meaningless. It's it's. I just don't understand the question. I I, I don't. It's. I I don't find any logic in that question. I don't think life has to have a meaning. Life just is, exists. And and also Richard Dawkins he says um, um, we. Religion is possible because you can indoctrinate children, and you know it's it's in, in in evolution it's very useful that children obey their parents, not that they question when they say, um, uh, watch out, you know, 
don't go close to the river where the crocodiles are, uh, you'll get eaten. It, it's better that the child obeys right away instead of uh, uh, questioning what the parents say. So, so um, you know, that's why we really want to get the children as soon as possible. They want to baptize uh, children. Which was never in Christianity the the, the idea, the original idea. Uh, at baptism, you you commit yourself to Christianity. It's it's a you know personal commitment. You you need to be an adult. Um, uh, so so somehow I don't know why Carol Armstrong is so so hung up with uh, Richard Dawkins. I I think the problem is um, that he's right, and uh, you know that's upsetting. Um, you can you can you can say he's very provocative, he's not very diplomatic, but you can't get around what he's saying is 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 damn right. He's very he's very brilliant, and um, and I don't think it's right to say when when she she she, she Karen Armstrong says they they claim that religion is the source of all evil. Um, it's the source of a lot of evil, and as uh, Stephen uh, Feinberg said. With or without religion, uh, you can have good people doing good things and evil, pe evil people doing evil things. But to get good people to do evil things, it takes religion. <laughs> That's true. That's not the only reason why people do uh, evil things, but it's a good tool. It's a brilliant tool. Now, um, I... I uh, as I said, I don't know why she gets so upset, but but I think a problem is also uh, Karen Armstrong. She's an extremely good feeling for the spiritual. Um, she explains brilliantly the the, the, the um, uh, mystical traditions in in the monotheistic religions, and she's got extremely good f feeling for it. Um, and she keeps on saying the same thing, and she says the the, the ultimate reality cannot be explained. It, it's beyond comprehension. And and she says, and I find that very good. She says, religion or uh, it explains the nature of of God um, just as music does. It, it it's a tool. It's it's a it's a, a, a humble. Um, uh, it's a humble attempt of humans to to un to explain that which cannot be explained. Now that is how religion should be, and and not be being literate. And that's what that uh, what the New Age is criticised. You know that that uh, that religion should have a special role. And oh, you cannot criticise religion. Oh, you must respect religion. No, religion is, is can be a tool for some people to feel better. Yes, fine. Uh, but so, and it can give us some 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 interesting insights about humanity. But so can um, Hans Christian Andersen's fairy tales or any the great literature. It's it's not more valuable or or less valuable. And I think Karen Armstrong. Well, just to finish this, um, I even go so far to say any statement about God is. Blasphemous. This is a bit my my statement, and and the Buddhist gets it right. You know, they Buddhist is, is a lot of people say it's an it's, it's an atheist religion. No, they just Buddhism doesn't deal with God. Um, I think out of respect, you know, it's it's it's, it's, it's the Buddhist. They sort of say no, it's it's too delicate. You know, we risk making um, wrong statements. So, so um, that's why they sort of uh, refrain from. Uh, they're very careful about making state, uh, statements about God. Um, but, but um, I think the, a bit the problem with Karen Armstrong is um, she she doesn't have the scientific training to understand the world. She, she's not a, a scientist in the sense of, of, of uh, you know understanding. Physics, mathematics, natural sciences, and um, the, the scientist uh, Neil deGrasse Tyson said it very well. He said, "If you are a scientific literate, the world looks very different to you, and that knowledge empowers you. It, it gives you an ability to understand the world. And if you are not scientifically trained," Um, you just you don't have that ability, 
and um, well, you have to use other resources. But but I think you know science is really the the, the best tool we have to understand the world. So uh, I think you should um, go and, and watch these videos on YouTube. Um, Karen Armstrong. Um, Richard Dawkins and I wish you a